Are you ready? Yeah! I want to know, is everybody ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. And now, everybody yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bobby back from a difference is doing it. Okay, look, I'm stoked about this one, okay? I know, at the risk of sounding like the boy who cried wolf, I'm stoked about this one. Again, here's, I've been teasing and talking this one up for the last, like, two or three weeks in our past few videos, because in this edition of Other Basement Disc Dyers, somehow we have managed to convince one of the disc dyeing scene's most up-and-coming artists to share her techniques and tricks and talents and methods with all of us in the TDD Army, which, mm, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm stoked, okay? She's a rock star. I'm not gonna like pretend it's a secret because her name's in, this, in the description and on the thumbnail and everything, but if you're like one of those people who mingles in that disc dying scene, in the groups and the subreddits and the places where we all like to show off our work, you know the name Tiffany Shaw and you've seen her work because it's, mm, look, if you don't mingle in those places, I'm gonna put up a reel of some of her discs going by here. And I'll be honest, I had a hard time picking favorites, okay? So I just dumped them all in there. And there's a lot of them. So they move quick. And it's probably still not gonna finish by the time I'm done talking, but mm, you can see what I'm talking about. Here's what she's, she's gonna do for us today. She's gonna walk us through her fancy schmancy glue bed technique and then show us four different ways to make like super righteous killer designs like these ones that are scrolling by my face. That's why, look, she's a rock star. You're gonna, and I've already seen this. Here's what I think. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And at the end, you're gonna be like, look, I know what he was talking about. Cause I'm stoked. I think I can do that and I'm stoked. Yeah! You know, this this little other basement disc dyers series thing, I know this is only like fifth episode that we've, we've gotten to you, but like in my crooked dome, this is where I see our YouTube channel like evolving and growing to. That's like the vision. I, who wants to see old man Bob Cobb's turntable, this beat up old thing? I love it, okay? I, I love you. Who wants to see this in every single video over and over again? Nobody does. Nobody does. Here's the other thing. The TDD Army now, it's gotten to the point where it's like big and bad. And there are loads of seriously talented artists amongst the ranks who are cranking out ridiculous dyes. Like stuff that's just It's awesome. What, like what I want to do is gather that stuff up, like the best of the TDD Army, the power of the TDD Army into one place for all of us. You know, they can raise the bar and into like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about now, okay? So look, if you're one of those generals and you got, you got something, you know what I mean? I mean, you got something. Every time you're like, yeah, look at this one. <laughs> Hit me up. Okay, don't wait for me to hit you up. Send up a flare or reach out or something. And then we can get to talking and then we'll make it happen, Captain. And then, boom, boom. And you know, we'll still like fill it in in between with T Diddy dies and all the technique stuff, technique focused videos that I was talking about and the monthly giveaways, like the one that's gonna drop in about a week. But you know, that, that other basement disc dyers tour through just all of the turntables of the tremendously talented TDD Army. Mm, that's the vision. That's like the dream. That's the goal. That's that is the vision. That's what I. That's what I was talking about. Mm, man, sometimes I can ramble, but that's what I was talking about. Let's. Let's realize that vision right now with Mrs. Tiffany Shaw leading the way. Here's what we did with this tutorial. We broke it up into three sections for you, three bite-sized sections. First, she's gonna talk us through all the supplies and materials that you need, you know, to do, to make the magic so that you can get the stuff 
and have it ready and be in the place to be. Two, she's gonna show you exactly how she mixes up like her dye mix and then the glue bed mix and all the stuff, how you put it together so that you can be ready for the third part, which is like the fun part, and that's banging out like four different ways to use that stuff to make the magic. Four different techniques on how to make crazy, just righteous designs like the ones that have been running by my face. So, you know, strap in because this one's headed to Boomtown. <laughs> We're on the Express. Yeah! Here's the thing. Hold on till the end, okay? And we'll circle back with, you know, information on how you can check out more of Ms. T Mrs. Tiffany Shaw's work. And more importantly, how to get your hands on some yourself. Because we all know you need another disc. You know you need another disc. Share some love. Some T. Diddy Army love with Miss Tiffany Shaw. And go thank her for letting us behind the curtain by getting some just smoking hot custom plastic. Yeah! Alright, we'll be back in like a week or so with September's Disc Art Giveaway. So, enjoy the show, and until we see you again, mm, keep doing it. Yeah! Hey everybody, Tiffany Shaw here. Just wanted to say thanks to Bobby and the T. Diddy Army for letting me ha come on here and share some of my techniques and process with you guys. Before we get started on um, me actually dyeing the discs, I just wanted to go over some of the materials that I use for my glue beds. You can use any kind of glue, so I have used Elmer's Glue All. This is a little bit more expensive. It's what I used to use for my paint pouring. I don't buy this anymore because I get the cheaper stuff. You can also get Elmer's School Glue. This is basically that, but a less archival quality, more water-based. Also, the Amazon Basics. This is basically the exact same thing as the school glue. It's pretty cheap. That. And then also you can use clear glue. I haven't had clear glue in a while. It does give a slightly different effect. It seems to make it give it a little bit more dimension when you use clear glue. I use white glue primarily because it's easier for me to see the colors as I'm laying them out and how they separate. They kind of get translucent in the clear glue and it's a little bit harder for me to see the color separation in them. But it can be done and I probably will be getting some more clear glue soon because I do like the effect you can get with it. And then the video coming up will show you how I mix my glue and what consistency I go to. As far as mixing my dyes, I use lotion and water. So I'll mix lotion and water in this and then I'll use my powdered dyes. You'll see that mixing, mixing it in with that and a little bit of Floetrol, it just gives a better consistency so that the lotion doesn't break apart as easily and it seems to hold the colors together and give you crisper lines when you're putting the dye in the glue bed. That's for my powdered dyes. My liquid dyes I don't mix with lotion and I didn't actually show in the video how I mix these but I use Ritz, Worm Dip, and Spike It and I mix those directly with Floetrol in these bottles. So these are, this is Worm Dip, this is, actually this one is something I was just trying out. This is I Dye Poly and Alcohol mixed with Floetrol and then this one is Rit mixed with Floetrol and I'm out so I do need to mix some more. But basically I'll put probably about that much dye in it and then fill the rest up with Floetrol and shake it up. And I use those when I am. So you'll see me pull those out a couple of times too. Some of the other things that I use are silicone oil. I don't mix that in with my actual dyes because I've had issues using silicone on our pro plastic before. Now, however, I do mix it. And you'll see me pull this out. This is not airbrush medium. This is kind of my secret cell ingredient. And I say secret not because I don't want to share, but because I've forgotten all of the things that I've mixed into this. So I know that I've had silicone, Floetrol, lotion, and also I have this, which is a clear gloss base. It's something that is used in acrylic pouring, which is where I got a lot of the ideas for this stuff. Definitely YouTube acrylic pouring. But this is also one of the products that I use mixed into this when I'm trying to get different reactions. And then of course, acetone. I use this more when I'm wiping stamps, stencils, etc. And sometimes mixing dye with it, but actually I prefer mixing dye with alcohol. Most of my dyes, my eye dyes are already mixed with eye dye 
and 99% alcohol, but um, I have this and obviously this is kind of unwieldy to use, so I just put it in a spray bottle and I can open it and drip if I need to or just spray it if I need to. Alcohol also helps with popping bubbles if you spray some alcohol on top of your glue bed. The other thing that helps pop bubbles is my trusty torch. Very, very handy tool. You will also see me using my airbrush, which is attached to a compressor. I use this a lot just to blow around the die sitting on top. Also over here, I have my record player so I can do spins and I do my glue beds on there and play around with it. And occasionally I will also use my heat gun. It does move the die around in a different way than the airbrush does. One other thing before I wrap up my color wheel. So a while back, I wanted to test out what all of the colors look like. A lot of people ask me about how I choose my colors. And this isn't obviously a perfect color wheel, but I try to use colors that are complementary. So if I'm using a red, I know that green is complementary to that. When you mix them together, they turn into mud. They turn into gross brown goo. But if you keep them separated, they'll really pop next to each other. So like a pink and a light green or a blue and an orange, those things will pop against each other. When it's just, the tricky part is just trying to make sure that they don't completely blend together and then most of your disc is just mud. Um, but I do use this a lot. I'm always looking at it. There are also apps that you can use to help you select the color palette. But you can definitely go to your Play Store and look up some apps for color selection, color wheel, and help you pick out some palettes if you're a little confused. But I think that's it. And other than that, we are good to go.
This is Rit Pink with a little bit of Floetrol mixed in it so it's super thin. This is probably the key to getting cells. Transverse Pink, which is a Pro Chem color that comes out kind of on the pinkish side. It is actually that color right there. Some eye dye pink. Obviously we're going with pink things. Somehow I do that. Transverse purple. Violet. I pick these colors because they kind of contrast against each other, so I try and mix up the dark and light ones together. And then this is actually a mix of Floetrol and water. It's got a little bit of silicone in it, not a lot. It's very watered down and thin. Put it around it, put it in the middle. Just roll it around. Heat gun.
Oh, 